good morning welcome to nifty prediction to join my whatsapp group i am charging 350 rupees per month you will get value in advance of prediction details as well as calls in the group and if you like my videos you can support me by don donating uh, using this bank details and other uh, use uh, apps let's go to the today's market nifty ended up in the negative 10704.80 135.85 points in the negative, 1.25 percent in the negative. Opened around 10,845.20. High went around 10,845.20, which is the same open and the high is almost both the same. And low is around 10,670.25. Let's go to my prediction review. In my prediction, the data shown in the mixed. Uh, the ratio indicated negative, average indicated positive, weightage indicated positive and absolute frequency indicated positive. Three indications are shown in the positive but the, the difference of these two indicated uh, the results will be on the other side as well like uh, downside as well as positive side which means if the market is not breaking the key levels and if it is breaking those uh, negative bear trend or maybe bullish trend due to that it will be in the extreme that is what i have indicated that uh, as per the common rule the resistance level is not breaking uh, that is the surplus for uh, going for a short and uh, it may become extremely bearish and uh, the support level one is not breaking it may become extremely bullish but on uh, thursday the negative side it has become extremely bearish and it is not broken that key basic level which is 10,850 the resistant level 1 uh, on uh, Thursday the high is around 10,845 so if we follow those basic uh, steps uh, we can able to make a huge profit and as I clearly mentioned that we have two support level 1 and uh, three support level 2 which means anything less than 50 points these levels become resistant level that is what happened after breaking the levels uh, it is not able to break once again it not it um, not able to come back towards the positive because of the pivot level is there in the post year on 30 anything less than that market will always try to go down we know those levels and after breaking the key bearish trend it will become open target level we have so many supports after that but still it has broken the key level of uh, uh, 10,766 the stop loss of 10 point means 10,755 this level has broken after that it has traveled in the range for quite some time then one lead has fall down to the target level of 10,692 but the low is around 10,670 which means the downside the low is around 10,670 which, which is not matching with that any of the data so still further downside we may expect in the coming days that is what it, it is indicating so no matter how much high it is going um, recover or maybe no matter how positive it goes it is indicating that market will fall because this is the level this is the low which uh, clearly indicating that we have no match in the data 10670 which means for the downside we can expect in the coming days that is what it shows because we don't have any matching data in the uh, support levels so in the in the coming days if the market is recovering means that is uh, we can go for a short once again and make some profit let's go to the prediction for friday on friday the ratio indicating positive 9 is to 6 average indicating negative 1 is to 2 and the weightage indicating negative 1.89 versus 2.80 absolute frequency indicating negative so three negatives but once again we are getting the difference of one point which means the positive side momentum also we can see so what we need to watch out is that uh, whether it is breaking the positive side um, bullish trend or not so if it is not breaking it may fall down uh, we have the ratio 9 is to 6 
so that uh, lead the market towards to the positive side but still it is 50 50 it shows 45 percent chances to end up in the positive 54 percent chances to end up in the negative you know these these are all the just guideline but sometimes what happens is even the higher level may not get hit if the breaking levels are happens and the pivot is there in the flattish positive so anything less than that the market will try to come down anything above that level market will try to recover Mm, and what we need to watch out is that the bearish level bearish open target level is having 10,627 so anything less than stop loss level which will become open target level 617.5 anything less than this market will become open target for the negative so if this level is not breaking we can go for a buy after a downside so this particular level we need to watch out for the buying level keeping stop loss is level and go for a buy is advisable if the market is corrected but if the market is open the flat positive as we know the basic uh, uh, target which we need to keep this support level one as a stop loss we have two support levels so we need to go for the second support level as a stop loss for the buy if the market is open in the flat positive so 10,690 keeping stop loss 10,680.5 this level uh, keeping stop loss and go for a buy is advisable if the market is opens in the flat positive uh, so 10,680.5 keeping stop loss and go for a buy we can uh, keep a target somewhere in the range of um, resistance level 2 and uh, this resistance level 3 so which means the gap between these two levels is having uh, some 15 points so these two levels we can keep stop loss uh, and we don't have the uh, frequencies in the resistant level 3 and resistant level 2 so we may have a chance to come down after this level reaching why because if the market is not breaking this bullish level market will fall so that is the indication 10,776.4 we need to watch out if this particular level is breaking then market will become open target for the bullish otherwise market will fall down this particular level is not breaking we can keep stop loss this particular level and go for short is advisable if this particular level is breaking then we have the next support levels because we have i mean we have next resistance levels around after that level around 780 7 this particular level resistance level 4 is breaking then it may jump from that 80 points to 140 points and then 200 points it will become extremely bullish that is what this bullish open target level is saying so we need to watch out 10776.4 very cautiously if that particular level is breaking then it may become extremely bullish after those two levels and this 10,781 and 10,787 so these two levels we need to watch out because uh, and these are all the levels as far as the 5 minutes chart uh, it has a good chance to come down it may not reach those levels as per the 5 minutes chart but uh, um, if it is breaking those levels it may fly so that is the cautious note we need to watch out this bullish level anything less than that market will fall so we can check the five minutes chart now how it is uh, showing in the five minutes chart it is clearly showing that uh, 10,750 uh, to 10,760 it will fall once again from the high so the we need to closely monitor that particular level of uh, uh, 10,766 if that particular level stop loss level is not going to hit then definitely it will fall uh, so 10,776.4 must have to keep stop loss and go for a short uh, if because if it is not breaking definitely it will fall if it is breaking then only the further bullish trend may happen but with the condition of these two next resistance level needs to break with the stop loss so it may resist on those two levels even after breaking this uh, bullish trend it may uh, reverse in in these two levels so anything breaks after that 10,797 
point two, then only the further bullish will have control. Otherwise, even after breaking the bullish level, it may resist this ten thousand seven ninety seven level. So, uh, as per the data, it is uh, for it. It will fall after the level of ten thousand seven fifty. Range that is what it shows because we don't have a gap, um, so we can go on, on those levels. But uh, on the downside, if the market is opens in the negative, then we can keep stop loss in the resistant level one and go for a short is advisable. But uh, as per the data, it may break, uh, and after it may reach some thirty points. But this is the basic uh, level. But in this particular day on Friday. Uh, keeping stop loss on the resistance level is not advisable, even though if it is opens in the negative side. Uh, due to that, uh, it has a good chance to reach because five minutes chart is indicating that it has a good chance to reach around ten thousand seven fifty range. So your your stop loss will get it. But as per the data, it may open in the flat positive. It may not open in the flat negative side. But still, the basic we need to go. If anyone want to go short. Uh, this is the basic step resistance level one, and uh, keep the stop loss and go for a uh, short. But on Friday it is not advisable. You can go short on the level of ten thousand seven sixty six with a stop loss of ten points. Uh, let's see how the market is going to give us. But one more key point which I would like to point out is that if anything breaks this support level one, it has a good chance to reach support level two around ten thousand six twenty four and ten thousand six hundred range. These ranges easily can make if this support level one is breaking ten thousand six ninety. So after that, uh, we may get easily fall down some forty to eighty points. Let's see how the market is going to give us on Friday. Thank you.